Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to Jean Kilborn's theory about the representation of women in the media. Before watching this video, please be aware that this does contain discussion about how violence against women, including sexual assault, is often represented in the media. It also contains images of advertising, which may be considered triggers for those who suffer from eating disorders. Jean Kilborn wrote a book called Killing Me Softly and specifically focused on the representation of women in advertising, but you can apply her theories to a range of media products. She believed that the media really exploited women's bodies, so sexualizing them, objectifying them and focusing on their bodies as the most important part about them. She also believed that the media and adverts in particular were obsessed with the idea of thinness, the focus being on women being a slim, slender, etc. and the demonisation of women who did not fit that ideal. She thought that media companies were focused on selling women addictive products with a guise to fixing some of their insecurities that had been created by the media. So a focus on selling things like diet products, for example, whether that is diet pills, slimming protein shakes, you know, cellulite creams, whatever it is, a focus on selling products that women end up becoming addicted to or obsessed with because they feel as though they should be using them to change the way they look. She also thinks that the media encouraged and glamorised violence against women. So if you have a look at whether it be films or music videos, TV programmes or adverts, there are often images that we see of women being beaten, held down, tortured. Um, there's a lot of focus on that in films. You know, uh, there's a lot of storylines that focus around the idea of sexual assault, kidnap and rape. Um, and she thought that these representations were often glamorised to provide excitement and drama in a storyline. She also believed that women were often seen as flawless in the media, this idea that they could have no pores, no wrinkles, no spots, their teeth had to be perfectly white. Whereas in comparison, men often didn't have to be shown like that in the media. She believed that women were often seen as passive, so not active within a narrative, lying there, uh, whether it be kidnapped, whether it be not actually part of the storyline, or whether it be as a kind of damsel in distress character. And leading on from that, she often uh, noticed that in adverts in particular, women are often dismembered. And I don't mean literally having limbs taken off. I mean the images of women actually often cut off their heads and just show women's body parts from the neck down. This idea that the woman's body is what's important and her face and personality is almost secondary and unimportant. So that was my easy to understand guide to Kilbourne's theories about the representation of women in the media. Don't forget to check out my channel. I've got lots of other videos about media studies theories as well as keywords and set texts.